Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 10th of 2021. Well, it is titled Mercury and the Da Vinci Glow. So what do we see here? Well, a couple of different things. This is an image taken just a couple of days ago on the morning of July the 8th. And on that day, you could see the moon and Mercury together in the sky. And here we see that image on out to the left. We do see our moon in the sky, a very thin crescent. So the only illuminated portion of the moon that you would see would be that thin crescent down towards the bottom left of it. The rest of it is illuminated by what is sometimes called the Da Vinci glow. And the explanation of this given by Leonardo da Vinci back over 500 years ago was sunlight reflecting off of the Earth to the moon and then back to Earth again. So it again is sunlight reflects off the Earth bounces to the moon and bounces back. So it is not the moon being directly illuminated by our sun, but instead is indirectly illuminated by the sun. And that's why it is many times fainter. And in fact, you can rarely see it except when the moon is uh, very little directly illuminated. So when you're only getting that small thin crescent, then it is quite possible to be able to see the Da Vinci glow as we see in our image today. Now over on the right hand side, there are two bright stellar objects. Uh, one is a star. The upper one is actually a star in the constellation of Taurus, Zeta Tauri. And the other is a planet within our own solar system. And that is the planet Mercury. Now, of course, the two are very far apart in space, but happen to be close to the same direction in the sky. Now when we look at Mercury, it's always very hard to see and among the five planets known to the ancients, it is the hardest one to be able to detect. And that's because it is so close to the sun that it is never seen very far away from our sun. It can be seen sometimes in the morning as in this case just before sunrise and other times just after sunset but very close to the sun meaning it's always within that twilight haze that we see and never in a completely dark sky as we can see planets like Jupiter and Saturn and Mars. So you have to know exactly when to look for it and exactly the location. It's also the fainter of the planets, so it's harder to be able to see it does not stand out in the evening sky or the morning sky the way the planet Venus does. So those two combinations make it very hard to be able to see. But just a couple of days ago, it was easily visible in the morning sky. If you knew where to look off to the east, you could pick it up just before sunrise. And here we get to see it as well as a very thin crescent moon and the Da Vinci glow for the remainder of the moon. So that was our picture of the day for July the 10th of 2021. It was titled Mercury and the Da Vinci glow. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be try to see the moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.